offense and power and explosiveness. He's been the best player in the country. I can't wait to watch him play. There goes Barkley! Saquon Barkley! To the house! Touchdown! Barkley down the sideline! Touchdown, Nick D. Lyon! Barkley! Touchdown! This guy is just dynamic. Barkley puts a stamp on this football game. Saquon Barkley had an outstanding combine, and there are reports the Browns are considering him with the first overall pick. We're joined by FS1 NFL analyst Eric Dickerson, who went second overall in the draft. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad we're talking about some football. Who, who went you? first in that draft? John Elway. Ah, oh, you know, before, 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 before we start, can, can I can I say something? What? Can, can I get a little credit? You know, I know football season is over. We're talking about it now. Can I get credit for, for picking the Eagles? Two weeks in advance. You Can still, I get some? You still yes, credit? I want my credit. Thank you. Know you. What? Thank you, Joy. Thank, I, I, I thank, can't, thank I you. Can't reach over there. Thank you. All you paid up. Joy don't pay up. No, 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 Joy ain't paid up yet. Patriots fans. Joy, Joy ain't paid up yet. Okay, we got time. Okay. We got time. I'm not a Patriots fan. Four hundred dollars dinner plus tax for plus plus tip and tax. That's tip. Five hundred bucks. What if Denver had taken Eric Dickerson first overall? Would that have changed history? Well, me and he did it with my teammates. We've been teammates. We've been teammates. Well, how okay. good is Saquon Barkley? <sighs> Joy, I'm, I'm going to say this much here. Um, I think people ask, is he the best player in the draft? Uh, for me, no. I, I would have to go with the quarterback. I like Josh Rosen. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I really do. I, I, I like him as a quarterback. I like him, I like him as a person. I met him, played golf with him. Mm -hmm. Nice young man. Um, I think he's going to be a, a, a very good, if not one of the Elite quarterbacks in the league. Team depends on what team he goes to. Now, Saquon Barkley, I've never been big on the Penn State running backs. Uh, you know, I never have. I'm, and I'm going to go back. The best Penn State running back they've had in the last 40 years was Franco Harris. I mean, got to go back to Franco. Yep. I mean, the, the, the guys that are 5'11", you know, Keyana Carter, Keenis. you know, them, them, them thick bodied. I just never liked those guys. And then they, they go to, okay, he runs the 40 and the 4 4 1. He bench presses, you know, 29 times. That's, that's, that's fine and dandy. Look, you run 40 in, in tights and shorts. You don't, you, don't, you don't play football in that. I would say if you want to run a 40, put some shoulder pads and a helmet on, and you'd get a real idea of how fast the guy really is. Mm. I think, you know, he has, he has good hands. It's going to depend on what team he goes to. I think if he goes to the Browns, it ain't going to be good for him. Mm. Uh, if he goes to the um, Giants, and they don't have an offensive line. Won't be good. Well, I think another one won't be good for him. Uh, our team I do like for him is the Colts. Colts. The Colts. I, I like the Colts yeah, with Andrew Luck. You know, I, I, th I think that would be the team for him because they they don't have to give up the whole ship to get him. Like when they did with me, and they did with Jeff George. I mean, we had nothing but a running back and a, and a, and a quarterback and no offensive line. So I think a good situation for him would be in Indianapolis. But is he the best player in the draft? I think he probably had the best combine, let's put it like that. But for my money, no, I would not take him number one. What do you not like about him? I just don't – I don't like those little 5'11", 235-pound backs. I, I just he's don't. Six feet, 235. He, he ain't six foot. You know, trust me, he's he about 5'10". You know, <laughs> they, they, they'll say they, – they always put you a little bit taller than you really are. But I think he measured at the combine. Yeah, they, they, like I said, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't six foot. Uh, no, I, he's 5'11". Oh, let's, let's give him six foot. Okay. You know, I still think that – I just never care for those pins. To, and you know what? I hope I'm wrong because he's a running back. I always want to see running backs do well. That's that's my thing. Any, all of them, but I just don't think, I don't think. It, and, and then once again, I got to say this: it depends on what team he goes to. That's 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 very important. What team he shows up mm. on. So, you know, that's my take on it, and I'd like to hear what everyone else has to say. Mm. First of all, I, I am not going to write him off just because he chose to go to a school that has not produced a great running back since Frank Harris. Because it's, it's just crazy that, that history would say don't take that school's running back because the regimes keep changing. If, if Joe Poe was still there, God rest his soul. You know, like if, if he's still doing it his way, maybe you could say that. Larry Johnson did have two good years at Kansas yeah. City. He, he was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. For a while. Yeah. Till two years. Herm, Coach Herm wore him out yeah. for one year. Yeah. He did. But given that, so I'm not going to discount him off Penn State, but – Again, I have to measure him against Ezekiel Elliott. And again, you guys think Le'Veon's the best back. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about Le'Veon next up. But 
I think Ezekiel is because he is so special. And Eric, you, you were very special. But when I watch Zeke run, he runs with body lean and just sheer will that I haven't seen in a long time. And if it's third and short or fourth and short, he's just going to get it just on his willpower and his jump cuts and his natural strength. Because I don't think he's in the greatest shape. You saw him for a while at mm -hmm. Cabo. But, but again, is he ripped and slashed upstairs? You know, like, is, is he a guy who's just going to overpower you with his weight room strength? I do not think so. But he has natural power, the likes of which I haven't seen in a long time. And all I had to see was the end of his sophomore year when in high stakes games, Big Ten Championship, National Semifinal, National Final, he goes 220 against Wisconsin and then 230 against Nick Saban's Alabama defense and then 246 against Oregon in a national championship game. That's just extraordinary, and that's all you had to know. In that, that's end of story. And I, I wanted the Cowboys before the draft to take Joey Bosa because I thought it was more of a need position, and Joey Bosa's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And they said, well, we're going to strengthen our strength. We're going to take somebody who's even better than a guy who had a 1,000-yard season. and He'd had 2,000-yard season, Darren McFadden. So they go Ezekiel, and it changed a lot of things. And you love what he, you, you think he's way better than Dak Prescott. I don't agree with that because yeah. of the position he plays. But to me, I look at what Saquon did this year, and in the two big games – on the road at Ohio State and at Michigan State, he went for 44 yards and 63 yards. Well, did that did he change life at mm -hmm. Penn State? I, I don't think so. He did run back the kickoff at Ohio State. So if you want him as a kick returner and kind of a specialty Reggie Bush style, Christian McCaffrey style back, I get that because I think he's got that kind of explosiveness. But the rest, if you want bell cow, if you want life changer, face of franchise I, I just don't think he's that guy but when did it when did the shift happen because it's give there was a stretch there oh you don't need to take a running back in the first round and now we're talking about taking a running back number one overall was well, Mel Kuyper's big yeah. campaign was yeah. they're, they're the whole position is over already yes. I know so when now maybe it's the success that they've seen with Zeke and Todd Gurley yeah. that has brought the running back but I agree with you ED unless he's just head and shoulders above the quarterback mm -hmm. You don't take a running back number one because running backs aren't foundation pieces. Quarterback, if you get that guy, you got a chance, E.D. If you don't get him, I don't care how – look at Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson had 2,097 yards, but his quarterback was Bobo. He got to the playoffs, <laughs> but then they were gone. <laughs> Well, he, how, how, about, how about Dieter Brock far. for the Los yeah, Angeles Rams? He, did, he Dieter knows. Dieter Brock? If he, if he did just, and this is not a slight, well, I guess anytime you say it's not a slight, it is a slight. But if you could have got just mediocre, medial, middle of the road play, ED, with the season that you had your first three or four years in L.A. Oh, man, we'd have won a Super Bowl. But that's, you got to have that guy. Still. Yeah. You got to have him. You get him, you can survive with mediocre play at every other position. Mm -hmm. If you don't get that guy. You whistling. And the Browns taking a run. Look, Isaiah Crowell isn't that bad. I don't think, I don't think, I don't, I agree with you. I don't see Zeke. I don't see Todd Gurley, uh, Le'Veon Bell with Saquon, Saquon Barkley. Uh, with, Ze with Zeke, you saw him in the biggest moments, the biggest games, the brightest of lights, you saw him perform. Just dominate. Yeah. That's what you saw. You, you yeah. saw, right. So, and that's what you want, that's what you want to see. When all the money's to the table, okay, all right, boys, we playing for everything right now. You want to see who stepped to the front and take that money. Mm. We saw Zeke do that in the Big Ten Championship, Alabama, you, uh, against Oregon. And he came back the following year. Mm. I, don't, okay. I, don't, I don't see it, but I'm taking, I got to take a quarterback. Not unless the quarterback, you look at the quarterback, nah, 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 nah. So you just unmade your own case. So you would say that Dak Prescott is more valuable than No, 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 no. just said that. <laughs> Did he not just say that? That's what I just heard. No, eventually. Mm -hmm. That will be the guy. But that skip, nobody starts. Everybody's not Andrew looking Peyton Manning that mm -hmm. you just take him out the package and you say, but but Peyton Manning, what did they do for Peyton? They went and got him Andrew and James. James. They, 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 they did do that. What did they do for what? John Elway? They went and got him T. Wait and see what they do for Andrew Luck. Now, if he's sitting on the board at three, he's going to Indy. And by the way, John Elway in his later years needed that running yeah. game to cash in and finally win a yeah. Super Bowl. One, two, Hurt three. my stats, he too. Need, need you don't want to talk about that. I'd have more catches than touchdowns. You know what? That is true. He would have lost, all, you all lost them more games. 2,000 yards, 1,750 yards. You know how many carries that is, <laughs> That's cutting into my catches. 300 so carries. You're, wait, you're saying you're just like LeBron James. You care more about stats. No, no. 
I could do I could do both. I mean, one year we won the Super Bowl, I had 71 1100 yards. Uh -huh. Why couldn't I do that the, uh, the next year? How do you remember these numbers off they the top of your head? They cut my stats. And what would you run the 40 in? Hmm. My, my I'm just eight, asking. Okay, my fastest time I've ever run the 40 mm -hmm. was 4.53. 4, 4, that, that, so that means 4.6. No, 4.53. That means 4.6. All I'm telling you, this that is what four. we know. That there is no tape. <laughs> this is what we know, Joy. There is no tape with someone running Shannon Sharp from behind. No one has ever caught you from behind. Now, there is a tape. Career. Eric Dickerson ran 4-3-0 and 4-3-1. There is tape. Four, there is documented tape <laughs> of someone catching him from behind. Yeah, the fastest guy in the league. I, One guy. I, I said, they all green. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Well, you not. First of all, I'm, I'm, I'm four, five. All the 4 yeah. threes and 4 fours. Who was your longest touchdown? 96. How did that ever happen? Well, Everybody did. fail? <laughs> on the three yard route. Everybody, said, Everybody on the, had on the, the three problem. yard route, ED. I'm the only tight end in the history to take a three yard route and turn it I, to a 96 yard route. Give me something. Give, give me something. I got to give you something. You're, but, um, well, we have a research department here that does a great job. Your uh, your combine 40 was actually 467. This, huh? I told him. What? What did I tell you? I said 46. I told But I four, said my seven. Seven. Really? Well, Probably 47. I, I told Skip I did not run no 4.8 at the combine. I told Skip I ran 4.6. You said 4.5, didn't you? I said, no, my fastest time ever. I didn't run it well, at the combine. What was your fastest time ever? Four, five, three. Downhill, four, five, wind behind, four, five, three, no. wind aided. But it's ED. You Wait, know, that's the one you timed yourself on. No, but ED. <laughs> and got a quick start. Here's the thing, though. You know it wasn't specialized. All I was doing, Skip, was running 40. I wasn't testing like they do now. Well, I'll yeah, just I'm going to tell you, first that, that 40 means nothing. nothing. That don't mean. It's just, it's just so overrated. I mean, it really is. It kills me. I'm like, Emma, so what? Emma Smith ran 4-6. It's Jerry Rice. Who cares? Right? I mean, oh. football, you're a football player. You don't play football in tights and, and, and track shoes. Edie, that's all they hear. I'm, I'm, I, I, Although, wait okay. a second. At, at What did you weigh coming out of SMU? 225. 225. You ran 4-3, so, again, I weigh that, would, that translated. Hmm? I weigh 221. Can, can, can I ask one more thing? What? Can we get this race between me and you? Either your back, on, you just... No, nah, my back good now. You just had two No, 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 no. Okay, my back is good. Don't try to avoid the question. Edie, okay. We do you it for act Terry. like you're... He's the one that brings it up, and you act like... He, he, he avoids it. He, he avoids it. Because no, he knows. Why do you Eric's back? You don't have to pay for it. Because my grandma said you need to respect your elders. Uh, if something happens to you, that's going to be on my... That's going to be on my car. Just say you're scared. That's going to be on my car. Just say I'm scared. Scared of what? You know what you're scared of. We're just going to set it up for charity, and then we'll shame him when he doesn't We're shaming you into it. Yeah, you're going to be shamed when I blow the nose up. Come on, dog. Should the Steelers give Le'Veon Bell a long-term deal? We'll discuss that next. I won't get the credit. I deserve it when I blow it.